Hi, my name is Terry Wiley, and welcome to a little plein air in the neighborhood. This is um, part of the Lafayette River behind me. It's a nice little estuary, little water comes in, and uh, some some wetlands around here. A lot of times we get uh, some local wildlife, some birds, and and various things. It's a beautiful spot, and uh, I've been wanting to paint it for a while. It's not too far from where I painted this one, uh, which is just over here off of uh, Willowwood but um, you yeah, know we'll see if the rain holds off it's uh, it's a little rumbling out there and but it's nice and cool today with a little breeze should be a good one and hopefully you enjoy tagging along with me on this one thanks so this is my scene and obviously um, I'll probably play around with it a little bit you know the the lighting isn't exactly what I want um, I'd like to do a little backlighting if I could and uh, I like the clouds today. They're really nice. I might I might work Something very similar to that in and but put a little backlight behind the clouds if I can and You know some of the bigger challenges here is this grass in the foreground is lighter over the top of a darker background and I might have to pull off a little gouache um, to, to make that happen I mean, there's several options I could mask it out, but um, probably not going to go that much detail. It's it's plein air, so we're gonna we're gonna make everything work, and uh, we're gonna have fun doing it. This is my setup, and uh, you can see basically it's just a tripod. It's a camera tripod. I, I made the easel. Uh, I started watching uh, James Gurney on YouTube, and uh, this is basically a variation of his easel. Um, you know, so it mounts to a regular camera stand and a, uh, I did make mine a trifold rather than a bifold so I can put a bigger uh, thing on it and then you can see the mount I use for my, actually I just use my cell phone as a camera to video what I'm doing so uh, it's just a flexible mount and uh, attach it to the top and away we go. The only thing I don't have is like a sunshade which I probably need to add but I got little magnets installed in my uh, and my bottom board here and that's what that's what holds my my pallet on so it doesn't go flying away and it's pretty simple you know I just use a simple breakdown cup I put a little magnet in the bottom of it simple breakdown cup for my water and we're off and running I'm just gonna get some paper towels out and I'll use this little magnet here to, to hold the paper towels down oh here, let me get that on video and these are real strong little magnets and they work great so, um, and then we'll see how this turns out. Of course, that's my last one. Uh, many of you saw that in a previous video, but if not, go check it out. And let's get started on this one, see what it looks like. I'm not trying to, um, you know, turn it into something that's not. I'm just having fun with it. Nope, not at all. I'm kind of used to it. I mean, everywhere I go, people watch me. <laughs> so you get used to it. What kind of paints are you using? These are, most of it's M-Gram. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty, you know, nice quality paint it's um yeah actually um this is not anything tremendous this is um the watercolor palette itself is is actually pretty cheap you can get it um very reasonably online and uh and then you can add whatever colors you want so all my all my colors are are tube colors and um yeah yeah exactly and I can kind of make my own um, make my own palettes as I go I think that, um, I've been painting off and on for about 30 years um, I've done a lot of drawing 
and uh, I, I was uh, in the Navy. I retired last year, and you know, being in the Navy, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to to do some of that because it's just not real indicative to carrying with you everywhere. But uh, I just started doing this probably, you know, more often about two or three years ago and getting back into it. I was oil painting at one time, and, and I still like oil painting. I just don't do as much of it. The watercolors are so easy to kind of grab and go. And, and I've really enjoyed doing them. Yeah. Yeah, it smelled really bad yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it it can get that way. And you're right, I am lucky. Try and get a little. Oh, that's just to encourage it to run. Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me some softer edges. A lot of times, you know what you're trying watercolor will create its own effects and you just got to kind of encourage it a little bit. And my camera bounces around when I do that. <laughs> what are you going to do with the camera? Just for reference, take a picture of it to go home with? Yeah, so I videotape everything I do. Oh, okay. So like. Um, oh, I just saw your videotape from the last one. From the yeah. Landscape. Okay. yeah. So I'm I'm so like right now it's currently videoing everything I'm doing, and then um, and then I'll I'll uh, edit it a little bit later and um, put it in a put it in a um, a time lapse video. Did you, you have a preliminary sketch on that? I do. Yeah, I did a little sketch of it. I, I usually do put a sketch in there, and um, and then I'll work around that sketch. Because now I could, I've done a lot of video. Um, I've done a lot where I don't have a sketch, and it always comes out better when I do a sketch. I'll put it that way. <laughs> It is, so it'll break down so I can put it oh, like that and nice. then it doesn't get destroyed later. Yeah, these are um, Escoda brushes and uh, they're, uh, they're made in uh, Spain and uh, I've actually another artist turned me on to them not too awfully long ago and uh, I've just been falling in love with them ever since. And uh, he's another local guy. And uh, and the cool thing about watercolor is it dries lighter than then it goes on. You can hear something out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of critters in there. 
That's awesome. Do you live near the water? Okay. I mean, I'm not on the water, but. Yeah, there are. Um, there's muskrat. And... Yep. All kinds of fun stuff. And you can hear something out there. All right. About happy with that. Give me a little bit of a. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, for... anytime. Stop by anytime. Come back in an hour and see how much progress I made. Okay. <laughs> so I've been doing a little color mixing. I try to mix up enough to to you, everything I'm going to use up front, so I don't have to stop in mid painting and mix more color. Um, but essentially. You know, this is a lot of greens in this, and uh, I'm working with a variety of different greens. Um, I'm using sap green, phthalo green, and cobalt green, um, all M. Graham colors. And uh, you know, we're going to jump into the painting and see how that goes. Um, made a little progress on the sky, probably go in and tweak it a little bit as I go. Um, kind of in that transition period of really bright skies and a little bit of storm rolling in and uh, let's see if it holds off long enough to let me make some progress on this. The sounds out here are pretty amazing um you know there's some traffic but uh it's really cool to be able to hear the crickets chirping and i got a little school of minnows or fish or something out in front of me here they're going to town right now and you can hear them splashing you can hear the water kind of bubbling a little bit I'm quiet, you can hear it. A little bit of roll of thunder every now and then. Initially, I wanted to do this like, man, there's a beautiful bird flying over. I can't, I'm not fast enough to adjust the screen. Um, but initially, I wanted to do this whole backlight thing here, but I'm falling in love with this kind of right before a rainstorm feeling. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. Trying to get this edge of the water right. And I need to move on to like putting some water in. I'll come back and play with the details a little bit later.
Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Had a few neighbors come by. I'm gonna move this so I can paint here and uh, and talk for a second. That was nice. So now I'm laying in a little bit of water. I want it to be kind of dark right in here. A little bit of edge there. I'll come back over that. Now, let's lay in a little bit of the green. Show a little reflection of all my neighbors. Checking it out. People, they drive by real slow. That's all right. I don't mind. What is that guy doing out there? <laughs> Come on, it. What? I don't understand. That's okay. Had a nice neighbor come out and ask me some questions. He almost interviewed me. I was like, this is awesome. I, I think I got some of it on video. I'll probably add a little bit later. But uh, she, she was asking me all kinds of questions. They were great questions. That's what's, that's what's awesome about doing this is uh, you get to you get to meet your neighbors and and people are curious they want to know what do you do how do you do it why are you doing it which are all good questions sometimes I wonder myself <laughs> Hmm. Let's see if we can get a little green in there. A little highlight. Let's see if we bring some of that on. Looks like a little. Yeah. Kind of like that. flow a little bit and let's see if we can't bring in some of this oh I don't want that that's too red let's see let's go with a little little sepia a little here we go yeah that's what I'm looking for Hmm. A little red, but we'll fix that. We'll come back in there with something different. One thing I like about translucent colors is you can layer them. <laughs> I 
I have to change my water. This is a Hannah Mueller sketchbook, and uh, I like it. It's uh, it's not cotton paper, but it takes a beating. <laughs> I'm not exactly light on it, but all right. We're gonna change out water, clean a couple of brushes, and switch over to to uh, time lapse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Time lapse. <laughs> Hold on. So I've had a few people come by, say hi, talk a little. It's been good. It's always nice. I just had an art teacher stop by and talk to me for a minute. That was really cool. And uh, I suddenly became nervous. <laughs> oh no, it's an art teacher. But she was very, very supportive, nice woman. Didn't make me feel bad. It's good. And, uh, anyway, it's coming along. Um, it's been, I've heard some rumblings in the background, you know. It's been interesting. Um, Yeah, so, like I said, I really wanted to do this kind of backlit, but I'm kind of falling in love with this one. It's, uh, I like the, uh-oh, I kind of like the, the look of it, you know, it's just, Trying to get that grass to not look like it's all one thing. I'm gonna work a little bit. I'm trying to get a little edge definition in there. Sometimes you just get a little edge working on it, and that's what you need. That's what I'm working for. Give me an edge. It's a little wet, so I'm probably gonna have to wait for it to dry a bit. But hey, I think it's uh, coming along, you know. Picking up a little color. I got ants all over the place. Yeah, it's coming along. I 
I'm going to pull in some of this and make this a little bit more pronounced going down through here. So let's see if I can put some color back in. I want it to be a little more green. Yeah, you know, not too bad. I could mess with it and mess with it and so I am being attacked by ants now. It's official. The ants have arrived. <laughs> it's okay. We're getting close. It's okay, a little run ain't gonna hurt nothing. Maybe I need to take a little water out of that brush, that might help. <laughs> Get a little reflection going. Good to go. Lift some of that out of there. Nice, nice. Using a little gouache in here. If the watercolor police show up, don't don't kill me. Be all right. Just need a little more definition. All right, back to hyperspeed. Okay, getting close, getting close. I think I'm getting ready to go on Facebook Live and do a little live chat for a minute as I wrap this up. And if you came along today to enjoy a little art with me, I appreciate it. Hopefully you're a little more relaxed for it. Feel a little more enhanced for it. 
I know, it does me a world of good. Find something that lifts you up. Do it. We'll talk more. Thanks for coming. Okay, well, that kind of wraps us up. And uh, just wanted to take a minute to say thanks for showing up and supporting me. And uh, tide's going out, sun's going down, cricket's coming out, and I'm going home. <laughs> just thought I'd uh, say goodbye and show you one last picture of the, the painting. This was about two and a half hours. That kind of came out good for a sketchbook painting. Pretty happy with it. A little plein air work. And, of course, out in the elements, enjoying the cars go by, listening to the fish and the frogs and the birds. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it and hope to see you here next time. Thanks for joining me on this plein air. Uh, it was a great day. Got out here, beat the rain. Enjoyed some of the outdoors uh, and having fun with the crickets and the fish and the birds. And a few neighbors stopped by and said hi. And, um, and that's the painting. Uh, I think it came out pretty well, pretty happy. That's that's the scene. And uh, thanks for coming by. We'll do it again. Hopefully you'll join me for some more of this. Thanks.